Hello, my pretties. I'm not sure why, but I was hearing, there's a ribbon in the sky for our love. Um, in the last read, we found out or we picked up on a particular individual um, who is saying something like, I have to die so you can live or I'm going to have to die so you can live. There's a person here who has accepted their fate. The issue is, um, it is because they made some sort of deal with elementals. I'm hearing, um, you better stop smoke bushweed. I'm gonna look high grade fit by. You not sound educated, just sound like some ignorant guy. This person may watch you on Instagram because she says, if Instagram fit, tell me who visit my page the most. Your name will be there up at the top. Your mouth the water for the pretty picture with my post. You are priest and my body get fat. <laughs> Word, you have half a million girls. I get one guy, and you will scream how how I do you that. Anyway, this person that made a deal with some elementals to stop you on your path and to essentially, you know, do you something real bad, all right, um, in order for them to get ahead in life. The problem is these entities are coming up from the depths, as we see here with this card, up from the depths. And they're going to teach this person a karmic lesson, such as this card says here. Okay, so this person, let's talk about the deal that this person did with these elementals. See, I just heard red hat, red cat. There's, there's elementals, and this comes up a lot. I never knew what this was. If y'all remember, for my, for my people who, um, who really, really watch me, okay, then you remember that I did something... I did a few reads where it's like this red cap energy was coming out. Red shoes, you know, rumple still skin energy. It's the it's these elementals. Y'all gotta go watch something about rumple still skin. Listen, y'all, the Bible, Disney movies, or old cartoons are going to be very telling to what's going on now. Okay, first of all, if you want to know what's really going on, going on, going on, watch Little Shop of Horrors. Okay, that's my favorite movies. I watched that shit several times a day when I was a little girl. And who would have thought, <laughs> okay, that uh, their old Audrey too would try to eat my ass too. Who would have thought somebody would have offered me to, or, to, to, to Audrey too? okay? Anyway, um... So, so whatever this is, is coming back to bite them in the ass, literally. So we have the nine of pentacles. And we have this messenger of romance and invitation. So this is basically talking about the, um, that energy. There's a ribbon in the sky for our love. Okay. So this person with the two of swords here was, was on some shit where it was like, I feel like this person do love you or they have feelings for you or whatever this is. That's why this indecision energy is here. This person knew that they wasn't supposed to do this shit. They knew it, but they took that gamble and they took that risk anyway. And it's because I feel like whatever uh, person, okay, I keep hearing fake friend, fake friend, fake friend, because you're very loving, okay? And they felt like, damn, you know, this, this would be a good lamb. You know what I'm saying? To slaughter. All right, this is gonna be some good bacon when we when we get done or whatever, um, you know. But they but see that the reason why they thought you were an easy target because you're very loving is the same reason why God don't play about you, okay? So people need to watch exactly what it is that they do, okay? Yeah, with the ten of swords to stab you in your back. That's that's what it was. Let's talk about these entities coming back up. I just heard to face them. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups with the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck and the nostalgia. See, and that's another thing too. For so long. This person doing spell work to bring to bring you towards them. <laughs> oh shit. A ribbon in the sky for all love. Whatever happened. With you and this person was a blessing in disguise, okay? You needed to get away from them. They was planning to do you something harmful, okay? And it was all for them uh, to, to wear fucking a Mary jeans or some dumb shit like that, okay? This is real stupid. This is real dumb, all right? 
Oh, so they're saying that this person was promised something certainty. So this is a womb raider, it could be. Okay, but this person, um, you know, it feel like it uh, tried to offer you something or promise you some dumb shit or will be trying to promise you some dumb shit. Yes, you see this energy of honor your word fall back at silver lining. So this person could have promised you something. This person could have promised you something. They saying that you was connected to this person spiritually because of what it is that they did. This person is project was projecting some sort of energy onto you. They telling me that this person could have wanted you to do yourself something, all right? There's a lot of fuckery going on here, all right? Um <clears throat> and now um show me honor your word. There's blood on this person's sword. Yeah, you recovered, okay? you. This person may have fell back from you. This is a soulmate energy that was trying to interfere with your destiny while you were being a workaholic. This person blocked you purposely. This person could have blocked you with love, okay? Um, or blinded you with love. Or you could have taken your, 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 your eye off your work just to follow with into or feed into um, a facade of smoke and mirrors that this person was... um project it onto you okay so show me fall back show me fall back faith okay so this person wanted to bring you back down you see how she's yep with miracle okay you see how this person is ascending all right but there is a ball and chain on her this person was trying to break bring you back down to size okay take you out of your faith make you feel like there was no such thing as miracles you're not going to be what it is that you said you were going to be okay bring me back into your life or whatever the case is this this person is doing some shit like by showing fake love or whatever the case is yeah you have a person that's insecure and connected to the devil this person heart chakra is blocked. So, so for this person saying, there's a ribbon in the sky for our love. Boy, fuck you. You you don't you don't even um have a heart. You gave that shit up too. That shit was up for grabs as well. Excuse my language for those of you who care about things like that. So yeah, this person was tricked into doing something for growth. Now let me tell you something else that they was telling me. Um before um in the last read, okay, before I took out, before I spread these cards. Um, um, they said to me, um, that what happened was there was a side deal that was done. Like, so for example, this karmic masculine, it feel like it don't have to be, it could be a female, but whatever this karmic with masculine energy that's on that go, 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 got to get it done. They in a masculine energy. Let's do this. Taking a gamble, taking risk. All right. Masculine energy. Um, they, made a deal with some elementals but the thing about this is the elementals knew that this shit wasn't gonna work out so with, with what the elementals did was they allowed this person to go ahead and make this deal and this promise because they knew that they would come back for more than one person so this is a group that this person is involved with i forgot to say but y'all already already know that so basically it's like i'm gonna offer you this forbidden fruit okay some shit that y y i can't give you anyway because it ain't mine it, it belongs to God, all right? Just put it like that. I'm going to offer you this forbidden fruit elemental um, in hopes that you can eat this and I could take this person's uh, destiny and become forbidden as well, meaning like untouchable or divine or whatever the case is. Elemental is like, all right, you know, you're dumbass. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You can't just offer anybody up. You can't just be doing this shit anyway. But go ahead and, and offer me a forbidden fruit that I can't have anyway, okay? Because it, it's, it's, it's touch not my anointing. Go ahead, okay? And, um, you know, if you get it, you get it. Shit, thanks, okay? It's going to be the sweetest fruit ever, but but you're not. And and because you're not, I get to have all of y'all, okay? So there's a huge, there's a bigger price to pay for losing this gamble than it is to win, okay? There's a bigger price to pay. And this person felt like you was, you, you know, it was going to be an easy target. Show me silver lining. Show me silver lining, please. We have perception. And complacency. Wow. They really saying that you won't feel sorry for this person. <laughs> they are. They saying that you're going to feel sorry for this person. 
you're gonna look at them. Your 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 the 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 I guess the silver lining about this is like you know you're gonna look at this person logically like okay so you know poor them and yeah they did it for money and you know they were I just heard neglected but they were show me silver lining. Yeah, I told you, five of cups, you're going to feel like, oh, you're going to feel sorry for them. You're going to feel sorry for them. Ace of cups, you love them, you love this person regardless of what they're saying. But you're, but you're still aware, okay? But you are still aware that life goes on and that this person has to face judgment, okay? I mean, that's cool. This feels like forgiveness. This feel like forgiveness. You're aware that something has to be given, okay? You're aware that something has to be given, okay? <sighs> Taken. It's, what, it's about what this person decided to do for fame or what this person decided to do for attention, okay? They know that this is ha happening, y'all, with the Six of Pentacles. They know... That it's, it's going to be an exchange. It has to be. They know that. They know that. Because they're, they, they, they're, their word wasn't honored. So if they, so if they were um, ascending in any way, if, they, if their life was moving forward in any way, they're coming back down. Because they didn't get the fruit. They didn't get what they were offered, y'all. With the collaboration. This is, all, this, is, this is several people. Like I said, this is several people. Because whatever plot and plan that they that they that they did, especially with the um, five of pentacles and death at the bottom of the deck, putting sickness on somebody or whatever you want to call it, okay? The devil just popped out. <clears throat> I'm hearing Lucifer, 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 son of the morning. I'm gonna chase you out of here, Lucifer, Lucifer, son of the morning. And y'all know I don't call these things by their name, but I have to tell you what I'm hearing. Yeah, they're stuck. They're stuck in, in a contractual agreement, and so um, you know, honor your word. It's still blood on these people's swords. It is. So with the chariot and honor your word, they coming to get them. King of Cups and the High Priestess. Oh, they saying like right, four four swords. And, and the three of cups. There's a man here that's a lover that's connected to you. There's a Pisces energy or something like that, or a reader, or a spiritualist, or whatever the case is, and 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 some others. Okay, three of cups. You know, some others. They're getting they're getting put to arrest. They're getting put to arrest, and you know, somebody else is gonna get what it is that they that that was rightfully theirs, like their destiny. This is karma. This is about what they did in the past. You know, this King of Wands, I'm, I'm getting like a sex offer. This is a womb raider. I already told y'all this could be a Virgo, okay? Heavy on a Virgo, you guys, because I said this last read. Because of what you did. You know what I'm saying? Not you, but you y'all know what I mean. Okay, so now, so now, so now, um... Now they're talking about, um, and I'm rebuking it, <laughs> okay? But now they start to talk about how this person feel or how you feel towards this person. Like, oh, because they didn't have any money or oh, because they, you know what I'm saying? Again, thinking logically. Thinking logically, like I said, with this energy of provider of logic and impartial judgment, Okay, yeah, all right, that's nice. You being impartial towards the situation, okay? But this person could have been um, the reason why you were somewhere and wasn't ever going to go nowhere ever again, okay? Whatever that means with this death energy. <clears throat> this person was, I feel like, taken from you in your dream state, stealing from your creative energy, Okay. Stealing from your ideas, yeah, with the world and the Ten of Pentacles, stealing from your idea, taking your ideas and running with it, okay? This emperor, taking your ideas and running running with it. I'm hearing blood force trauma. This person could have tried to take your consciousness from you by, by through, through sex. There's a lot of humping going on, okay? This person could like to bite or whatever the case is. This person is a whore, okay? Um, For, for Satan. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I said it. 
Cause y'all know I don't um y'all know I don't call him by his name. But um this is a, a person that sell ass for the devil. Uh, uh, messing around with wounds and shit like that. Like this is very, this is a dirty individual. This is a nasty individual. Okay. Show me about these elementals. Show me about the elementals, please. They're showing me like you know in the movie Ghost with them with them them shadow people. Um. Wow, look. You know, um, the movie Ghost with them shadow people come and get the the um the person, the guy. That's what they showing me. This person is worried, like I told you. This person is worried about balance being restored. This person is worried about things coming back. He could this person could feel this in a distance. This could be there's a Pisces energy here, okay? She's, she's at a distance from this person or this is the high priestess that's at a distance from a, the, a person that feels sorry for them. But see, the, the problem is they did something. I don't know if they was chanting or what. This male energy, what did I say? Energy exchange. He ch exchanged her consciousness. Like he really, by, by having sex with her with this love and touch, he's the master of trade, selling ass for the devil, master of his trade. He did some sort of atonement. He worked on his girl head. He did something on her head, changed her consciousness, or this, you know, this woman's or whatever, changed her consciousness from a higher, uh, uh, um, higher consciousness to a lack of faith. She could be angry now. She could be selling ass for the devil now. I don't know why she want to hump all the time or, you know, um, this could be, um, you know, this is succubus incubus energy as well. And they are elementals as well. So it's like, you know, um, having, um, like I said, with the ascending card that we saw, but the girl with the ball and chain, it's like this girl was ascending. This lady was ascending. This high priestess, this divine feminine was ascending. This little dirty, whatever this is, you know, he goes and connects a ball and chain to her leg so that she has to come down to meet him at his level. And what he does is exchange her consciousness um, or, or puts her consciousness up for grabs by way of sex, transfer some sort of spiritually transmitted disease onto her to keep her binded and slowed down and, and away from her destiny. Okay. And, and not able to foretell, foresee the future like she normally does. Okay. Whoever this person is, whoever the female energy is, she's gifted. This dude thought it was going to be easy because she is some like, like, you know, operates out of compassion. He felt like it was going to be really easy. Yeah, I feel like he do feel for her, but he felt like it was going to be really easy to do this, you know? And he done pissed off the wrong people, the wrong things. The same, um, you know, the same entities that he used to try to do her some is the same entities that's going to come and swallow him whole. Period. Get him out of here. Y'all, the warrior, the scales, and the mother. Okay. There's a Libra energy here, I feel like, but this all this is all about justice. This is all about justice. This mother is going to be freed out of her cage or something like that. Cave or coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Yeah. They saying that, you know, that this person, this person is a fool and they, and they really, you know, was set out on some mission. They were set out on missions to, what did I say with the father pointing? This person's father could have told them to do this shit or their mother could have told them to do this shit. A parent, a mentor, whatever. Okay. Somebody that they look up to, um, you know, and, and, and they should have said no. They know they should have said no. But what, but what this person is, there's a Scorpio here that could be involved and also a Capricorn. But what was being told is like, we all do this in the family. We all do this to stars. This is the family business. What did I say with work? We curse wounds around this bitch. That's what we do. Weirdos. Weirdos. And now, you know, these entities are out for B-L-O-O-D. And they don't care whose it is. They don't care whose it is. They want what was promised to them. And because they can't get it, well, they'll settle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If they couldn't get that chicken neck, take tofu, whatever. Whatever. They couldn't get that steak. They'll take steakums. You know? 
So I hope that helped y'all.